Hi, these ladies and gents. Six fragrances I really enjoy in summertime. Number six is from a house called Lush. I think it's English house. They were known for their crazy unusual names. Some of the names are uh, Honey and Wash the Kids, uh, Keep It Fluffy, Day of the Dead, American Cream. I don't know what they call them, these names. But um, the one I have with me today is called Dirty. Uh, I don't know why they call it Dirty, but despite the name, this one smells very fresh and clean. Um, it smells like you just came out of the shower. It's very minty. Some of the main notes here are uh, spearmint, not peppermint. Spearmint mixed with some tarragon, with some thyme, with some lavender. It's perfect for summertime and it survives the summer heat. Most of the perfume or most of the fragrances, even the expensive one, they don't really survive the summer heat. So you can wear in, um, in the evening, summertime in the evening, but this one you can wear during the day. Really, it's, it reminds me of... Uh, a nice holiday, you know, laying down on the beach on the sunbed, sipping on mojito. This one smells just like mojito because of the minty, you know, mojito, the, the minty drink. It smells just like mojito because of the, the minty, the mint, um, the spearmint uh, note here. Um, and the price is very fair. So if you, um, if you don't want to spend or you already spend a lot of money in your holiday, so you can just get yourself a 30 ml of this one because this one is very concentrated it projects and it lasts very long. Um, give this one a try. I don't know why they call it dirty, but if being dirty smells like this, then I don't want to be clean. Number five is a very unique, beautiful scent, which I really love and enjoy wearing in summertime. And this one is Wanted from the house of Azal. Wanted is, it's a very beautiful scent. I get a lot of compliments wearing this one in summertime, especially in the evening, not during the day, but in the evening, I get a lot of compliments. Uh, some of the main notes here are uh, uh, ginger, lemon, cardamom, apple, and tonka bean. Some people compare this, compare this one to Invictus Aqua, which I don't understand. I don't know how you're going to compare this one to Invictus Aqua. Invictus Aqua, it's um, a citrusy aquatic fragrance. This one is a very warm, spicy. If you think there's similarity, then believe it or not, you get some serious issues with your nose. You got to get your nose checked. There's no similarity between this one. This is it's a warm, spicy fragrance. Um, uh, it's, a very, um, it's very powerful as well. This is Eau de Toilette. Uh, but it lasts and projects like a beast. This house, all the toilet actually is supposed to be like. Try this one out. It's uh, wanted from the house of Azal. Number four is a nicely done flanker with a sweet coffee note. And it is Salvatore Ferragamo Omo, Casual Life. What makes this casual life special is the sweet coffee note. Name me five five summer fragrances with coffee notes. It's, yeah, not so many. They're actually for uh, winter or for fall. But for summertime, you don't find so many fragrances with... Uh, coffee notes for summertime and spring as well. Uh, some of the main notes here are um, violet leaf, coffee of course, and white musk. It's very warm. The dry down here is to die for. The only problem is the violet leaf. If you're not really into violet leaf or you, you don't really like it, then you might not like this one. So the best thing for you to do is to try this one out. Uh, if, you, if you're really into violet leaf, then you can, you can easily blind buy this one. If not, then uh, Give it a try first because you know violet leaf. I mean the smell of it is not for it's not for everyone So try this one or give it a try from Salvatore Fregamo School casual life. Number three is the gentleman fragrance. It is Les Saint de Gaulle Eau de Toilette. There's Eau de Parfum, but this is the Eau de Toilette version. This one is very very nice one. It's a very sophisticated fragrance. It's um, it's, it's it's perfect for a gentleman. Some of the main notes here are anise, uh, star anise, uh, patchouli, cacao pot, hibiscus. It's a very nice one. I get a lot of compliments wearing this one. Women would tell me I smell sexy and elegant. The only downside in this one is the performance. The performance here isn't the greatest. The other parfum vision is, is, is way better. I mean, in terms of um, performance. Uh, but yeah, performance here isn't the greatest. So you'll be required to go a little bit heavier on the on the sprayer so you can get a better performance with this one. But otherwise, it's a very nice gentleman scent. So try this one out. Let's turn the girl on the Eau de Toilette version. Number two is one of my favorite. It is Pina Colada. It's incredibly delicious. And this one is Le Bon from Jean Paul Gaultier. Some of the notes, actually not so many notes here. Some of the main notes are um, uh, bergamot and coconut and tonka bean. The creaminess that you get from the tonka bean in the dry down is 
is to die for. It's very really beautiful. Mix with the tonka bean, mix with the coconut. It smells literally like 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 pina colada drink. It's very very nice. Women would really want to hug you away in this one. Um, it's perfect for spring and summertime. I wouldn't wear it in the summertime. In the I mean during the day when it's really hot. No, I would I would only wear it in the evening. It's a very beautiful scent, so delicious. So you really gotta try this one. You get a lot of compliment wearing this one, believe it or not. It's one of the best uh, 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 fragrance that has a coconut accord, a coconut uh, note. There are so many good ones, but this is one for summer and spring. This one is perfect. Try this one out. Le Beau from Jean Paul Gaultier. Number one is the best tropical fragrance in the market. I've tried so many tropical ones, but this one really it is the best. It's from the house called Gisada. Um, it's uh, they from Switzerland. Uh, this is the this is the bottle. How the bottle looks like? It's called um, Gisada. That's the name of the house. And here's Ambassador by Gisada Switzerland. Not so many people know this one. Um, this one is um, it's it's tropical. It's very gorgeous. Some of the main notes here are spicy cardamom. Can you imagine spicy cardamom mixed with mango? That. It's a mix you don't often see in fragrances. Spicy cardamom, mango, and vetiver, vanilla. It's, it's a very beautiful one. This one is very bold, like really, really bold and strong, like uh, in, in terms of longevity. This one is bold enough to stand tall in the sun rather than fading into shadows. I've received the common way in this one. A woman said to me that it smells so juicy. It is very, very beautiful. What do I really love about this one also is the longevity. You can get from 8 to 12 hours and even more um, on, on, on skin and you can get 3 hours plus uh, projection. I love this one. Really is, you really got to try this one out. I don't know if you can, if you can, um, uh, if shops are open where you can, you can try it. If not, then you can just go on the page. They have, I think, gizada.com as far as I know. You can just write it down on Google, it would come up and then you can ask for samples they will send free samples everywhere uh, wherever you live they will send you free samples that you can try they will send you um this one and other ones as well uh, but this one is the best so far but you can just try for yourself try this one on it's called ambassador from the house of uh Gizada. that was the video of today you can write me in the comments down below your favorite spring summer fragrances we can learn from each other maybe if it's one of your favorites i would give it a try maybe it will become one of my favorites as it's one of yours you know, let's just help each other out. So until next time, peace.